Hey, hey, hey. Good evening, everybody. Friday night. Hopefully that means the work week is done and we can have a little fun. So I had planned to start this a little early tonight, but I've been gone all week traveling for work and things just didn't quite work out the way I wanted to tonight. Trying to get everything ready, but uh, we are going to get started here in just a second or two. I'm going to move some stuff around, so just bear with me here. Yeah, excuses, excuses. Well, I have been told that I'm the king of excuses, so. And uh, if, if it, you know, I've been been on the road all all week. I've slept in my bed. I think one night this week, and then I'm leaving again tomorrow. My wife is a school teacher. She starts school next week and she volunteered to be a virtual teacher. So she's going to start next week and is going to be virtual. So it's going to be like starting over for her. It's going to be almost like a new school year. First time teaching and everything with the, um, with all these changes. So, She's a little, little nervous. Plus she went through a whole lot with fighting some health issues last week. And so I just decided uh, we're going to go up into the North Carolina mountains for the weekend and just uh, see what we can find and have some fun. So I'm looking forward to that. But that also just means it's going to be that much crazier trying to get through everything. So bear with me one second. I thought I had something sitting here by the desk and I don't. So let me see what I did with it real quick. Hey, good evening, Dennis. All right, so uh, we'll get to these in just a minute. I'm going to move these out of the way because I got something else real quick. All right, so I have... Uh, I've been collecting for, for quite a while. And even before I knew what, you know, how different people, you know, or how people collected, you know, and, 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 and the different ways people collected. Um, I was a, I was essentially, I was a player collector and I, I didn't realize at the time that, that other people did that. I didn't realize that 
that was a that was a thing um, until until much later. And sorry, I'm gonna st still trying to get the best angle here. But um, but yeah, I I was a I, essentially I was a player collector, and I didn't even realize it. I didn't realize that other people did that. I, I, you know, I, I knew people built sets. Um, and at the time when I first started, I was not a set builder. I had no desire to be a set builder. That's, that's something that's come on in my later years of collecting. Um, and anyhow, one of the first players I collected was, uh, originally played with the New York Mets, um, their shortstop. Ray Ordonez, a uh, little Cuban kid. And I can't, I can't exactly remember how or why I started to collect him, but I did. And he was in a lot of sets um, in the early 90s, through the 90s and in the early 2000s. Um, and... Before long, I, you know, it, it or it didn't take me long to realize that I had a lot of his cards, like a lot of his cards, parallels. Um, the one local hobby shop that I had back in the day um, was called Collector's World. And the owner or the guy that worked in that shop would kind of keep um, his eye out as people came in the store and open packs and open boxes and stuff. Um, he would kind of keep his eye out for me for stuff. And, you know, I, I kept amassing his cards and, and eventually I started to realize the, um, super collector term. Um, you know, I'd see those articles in the old Beckett magazine of, uh, of, you know, players that, um, you know, that, that are people that collected super collected players and, uh, you know, so anyhow, um, several, several years ago, I really started to sit down and catalog and organize my Ordonez collection. I started a blog. I haven't really done anything with it because it's kind of obsolete now that I've discovered trading card database and, you know, I've got all the images and everything there. But anyhow, um, I, you know, I, I actively kind of resumed picking up his cards to the point now where I, I don't remember the percentage, but I've got like, um, I've got a lot. I think I've only, uh, you know, I, I'm down to really low numbered parallels. I'm down to like uh, his co-signatures with Derek Jeter, which is going to be a super expensive card. Um, I don't even see it pop up that often, let alone, um, uh, you know, that it's expensive, but anyhow, well, I, I, I search every once in a while to see if anything pops up on eBay or I check out Com C or, you know, whatever to see if I can find some of those cards I don't have. And every once in a blue moon, I will find something just the other day. Um, this, um, Fleer, uh, or Flair showcase, um, legacy collection popped up. And uh, this is the section one row three. And these are number to a hundred. And uh, I had, I think row zero, I had row, I think zero and one. So I needed two and three, or maybe I just needed three. I can't remember, but, um, but yeah, I, um, I was able to find this just the other day. So every once in a while, things still show up. I've got some save searches and whatnot. But what I didn't realize was in the new 2020 Tops Archives signatures, the retired legends set, um, Ordonez was included. And a lot of times my Ordonez searches, they bring up Maglio. And I have nothing against Maglio. He was a good player. Don't know if there's any relation to Ray. But I saw that Ray was included in the archive set. So I started uh, taking the little extra funds that I had and uh, picked up a couple. 
So the this one here is numbered to 98. And this is uh, finest, of course. It is 2000 finest. Hey, good evening, Josh. Um, so I grabbed this one and, you know, they're, they're nice. They're, they're, you know, slabbed and with the sticker and, you know, I, I don't usually go for stuff like this, but of course, you know, with, with my guy being in the retired set, I had to go for it. So I, I got this one pretty, pretty excited about it. Kept looking. Came in across another one. This is 2001 Bowman Heritage, number to 73. Nice card in itself, but uh, now we got the auto version. And I had a few people on Twitter point out a couple things, you know, some of these cards to me as well. This one came in the mail today or yesterday. I was out of town. This is this one bugged me a little bit because there's a big gash. There's a big scratch here in the case. Um, this is 99 Stadium Club. I love this image uh, of Ray just floating in the air above John Can Cangelosi of the Marlins. This is number to 81. They don't want to stack very well because of the magnets in them. <laughs> in the cases, I guess I can do it like this. Flip them around. And then I came across another Topps Finest. This is 99 Finest. And this one's number to 60. And I like too how his his signature is is very uniform throughout the different you know autographs. Then still staying with Stadium Club. This is what I think yeah ninety eight. This version is numbered to thirty nine. He was not known for his bat, obviously. Um, but I uh, give it to Tops for at least giving us a different image. Keep on going. This is 2003 Tops 206. This one is numbered to 30. The little mini parallels. I think there's one version that I cannot find. It's the Ooze It or something like that. U Z I T. Uh, it's on the list on trading card database. I assume it exists, but I've never seen a picture of it. And then one of my favorite Bowman designs was uh, this 96 only because I bought a crap ton of it back then. And this one is numbered to 21. Yep. Got another one. This is 2001 Tops, Ichiro's rookie year, if I'm not mistaken. This one is numbered to 17. And I'd love to know how Tops figured out the, the numbers. You know, why was the Bowman numbered to 21 and the Tops was numbered to 17? I don't know. I don't know. But another, another nice one. So... The number to 17, that, that's that's pretty low for what it is. I was really excited. But then I came across this. Okay, so we just looked at this one. Can you see that? Let me see if I can get the camera to focus in. 101, baby. So, here we go. Well, now I got to get it to focus again. There we go. This 
This one came um, while I was on the road this week. And, uh, oh, man, I, I, I've, I've, I've had a one-of-one before. And, and he's got some one-of-ones and, like, some printing plates and stuff. But I, I don't even put those on my list because, uh, you know, especially, you know, a card 20 years ago, trying to find a one-of-one is going to be impossible. But then this fell in my lap. This is the 98 Bowman. This is the international version. One oh one. Couldn't believe it. What were the odds that I find another one? So seeing how this one is a one of one, I assume there is a another regular number of this one. I've not seen it yet. I'm hoping it pops up. Um, but before I got those two, I found this one. 2003 Topps Chrome. One of one. I've only seen one other one of one pop up, and it's his 96, I think it's his 96 Tops Gallery. It's a beautiful card, but uh, the the seller on eBay has come down on their price. They started at $99. It came down to $75, and, um, and he said he's not going any lower, and apparently he split... A case or whatever with somebody and he said he's the other guys a, is a Mets fan so it's going to go to him and I'm not pulling the trigger at $75 even though it's a one of one I just can't do it I just can't but I'm really 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 excited if nothing else I mean three one of ones so I I'm beside myself excited. I've been waiting for these things to come in the mail, hoping and praying that none of them got lost or anything like that. Um, and I, I don't buy high end stuff. I don't have all this fancy swag to show off on Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, these, these have become like, you know, pri you know, just prized possessions in my Ordonez collection. So just thought I'd show them off. Just thought I'd share a little bit because I'm excited. But I know that's not why y'all are here necessarily. We're here to rip some wax. So why don't we do baseball first? So we're going to do the 96 Circa um, the hobby exclusive. This was the first year. And I think Baseballpedia mentioned that this was supposed to be a high end um, set, but because of something that didn't do so well the previous year or earlier the year in 96, they changed it. But, um, but at any rate, um, I, I remember buying this quite a bit of this actually. Um, I would have been in my first year of college in 96. Um, so I don't know exactly how much I bought, but I remember buying this and I liked it. The, the design is a little busy for some and I get that, but I liked it. Of course I like 95 Fleer. So what did that tell you? But the big draw, even to this day, are the rave parallels they're number to 150 and even common players can can bring a pretty uh, pretty decent uh, premium on the secondary market um but some of the the inserts were fun there were really about two not including the parallel we have uh, um, access 
which are like little booklet cards. They're bifold. So the card opens up and gives you a little bit more information. Um, so those are kind of cool. And then the other one were boss. And obviously that's short for embossed. Uh, the, so uh, you have your raised fronts. Those are one and six. So we should get a couple of those. The bifolds, the, <clears throat> excuse me, access are one and 12. So we should get two of those out of the box. And if we're lucky, we'll get a rave. So that's enough of me yammering. Let's get this started. So good luck to everybody. Thank you for everybody who grabbed the team. Thank you for those who helped me out here at the end and grabbed a team. So I got my list here ready. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> These are in little boxes. The packs are boxes themselves, which is just going to unfortunately add to the. It's going to add to the time of getting these suckers opened. It's going to take a little longer since it's more packaging, but that just kind of that does kind of re. Um. You know the what I said about it it's supposed to be a higher uh, a higher um, a higher end product that just kind of makes sense seeing that it's we got the boxes but um, yeah the raves are one in sixty Ra the the rave parallels are one in sixty so who knows maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. So I will try just for sake of time, because I've got to get up and on the road early tomorrow morning. I'll try to go through these, these things as quick as possible. So you can see just a little cardboard box and with the pack inside. Hopefully no bricking, because I'm sick and tired of opening stuff that's bricking. All right, so here we go. Uh, first card is Al Martin for the Pirates, but you can see, I think in hand, the, the design is not as busy as it looks. You've got the Circa logo um, in uh, stamped in foil. You've got the team name and then the player's last name um, all in foil. But then everything else is is, uh, is just printed directly on the card. I like the little quote, in this case, from Jim Leland, the former uh, Pirates manager. And on the back, you only get one year of stats. So sorry for those who like stats. But um, I don't know. I, when I saw... When I came across this box, I knew I had to get it. I almost got it a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I was hoping that when I came back to do a reorder that these would be in stock still. So hopefully you guys enjoy these as much as I do. Um, so next up we have Henry Rodriguez. Here. We have Jeff Bagwell. We have Tony Phillips. Chipper Jones, Edgar Martinez, Jason Isringhausen, and John Valentine. Hey, good evening, Mark. Hey, Hal's here. Glad you could make it. 
we uh, I, I, I didn't start the stream as early as I anticipated, but uh, I did start it off by showing off a few things. <clears throat> hey, good evening, John. Um, Johnny, no, um, no, um, no rave yet. This is only the second pack. So, and those are one in 60, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Uh, Keith Lockhart. And hey, you got a survey. Interesting. All right, David Justice. Alex Rodriguez. Lance Johnson. Move on. Gary Sheffield. Mark Newfield. And Paul Molitor. Okay, cool, Hal. Yeah, Ray Ordonez is, he's kind of my original PC. And he's the only one that I, I really go hard after everything and anything. I couldn't imagine being a super collector for any current player in the modern times because the parallels and stuff. Oh, holy crap. There's just so much. All right. We got our first insert. Uh, we got a, a boss, Mena Ramirez. So if the light hits it just right, which I don't know if I can replicate here, you can see the, the image of Manny as well as the now defunct logo is embossed but yeah there's 50 of these so not an easy not an easy set to build i didn't realize there were that many got the knuckleballer tim wakefield devon white will clark kirby puckett David Segui, Derek Bell, and Big Hurt. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Early, early action pack. I almost picked up a couple boxes or a box, I should say, of action packed. I stopped by. Um, if you follow if you follow my blog, um, cardboard collections at blogspot.com, a couple weeks back, I um, I stopped in this little tiny shop in North Carolina <clears throat> on my way to visit some of my stores outside of my my main market for work, and I was shocked by the amount of old wax that they had, and the pricing was all over the place, but a lot of it was pretty good. And I stopped back there today on my way home uh, from being out of town. And they, uh, I was looking at a super cheap box of action packed football. I think it was like 93 and 94. I had, uh, you know, John Madden was on the cover. And they even had a, like, a really cheap box of, I think it was 93 action packed NASCAR. And don't ask me why I was looking at the NASCAR other than just being nostalgic over my father. But, um, but yeah, uh, Keith Lockhart starts off our next pack. Garrett Anderson, Brady Anderson, Joe Carter, one of the killer bees, Craig Biggio, Sandy Alomar Jr., Brett Boone, and a Brant Brown for the Cubbies. But yeah, I had a I had a fun time there. I didn't stay very long, but uh, it's just so cool looking at old wax boxes and stuff. I ended up grabbing a box of '87 tops, just because everybody and their brother raves about '87 tops, and the boxes were nice and clean and very affordable. 
and I grabbed a box of 91 Upper Deck Football, the high series. It was the only box they had of that. They had plenty of the regular series, but only had one of the high series. So I grabbed that, and I did grab a box of NASCAR, but mainly for somebody else. All right. Bip Roberts, that's another Royals player starting our pack off. Jim Eisenreich. Steve Finley, Jim Edmonds, Rocky Coppinger, Carlos Delgado, Doug Drabeck, and Albert, don't call me Joey Bell. Yeah, 93 action pack has Jerome Bettis some Bledsoe rookies. Yeah, that is a good point. I don't usually I, – I, I didn't get into football cards until 95 when the Carolina Panthers came into existence. So I, I don't always pay attention to much, to much football before 95. But I think the box was like eight bucks or something. So, I mean, I should have – I should buy it just because it, you know, just be a fun, fun product to break, period. All right, got a Dodger starting it off. Eric Karos, Scott Stoviak, Rondell White. There's a checklist for Barry Bonds. Robin Ventura, Ryan Klesko, Paul Sorrento, and Alex Ochoa. Tenth inning in Spartanburg. No, um, pal, I've I've not heard of that shop. Um, I do have actually. I'm an area manager for a self storage company, and all of my locations, most of my locations are in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area. But I have stores all, all up and down I-85. Um, so I actually have a store just outside of Spartanburg in Boiling Springs. And then I've got two down in Greenville, South Carolina. And then I've got some up in Winston-Salem and Greensboro, North Carolina. But uh, I'll have to look that up. I've not heard of that. All right. We do have an insert so that we will get to that last. All right. We got John Mayberry or May Mabry, excuse me. Got a Paul O'Neill, Kurt Schilling, Fernando Valenzuela, Tim Salmon. We got Rafael Palmero and Jay Bell. And we got an access, Paul O'Neill. And these are the trifold cards. I think I like I like things like this. I like things that are different. 30 in the set. So uh, one in twelve. That'll take you a couple. Go ahead and throw it in this penny sleeve here. I'll put this Manny in a sleeve too. Paul O'Neill. All right, we've got uh, Pudge Rodriguez. Another survey. Randy Johnson, Todd Hundley, Tim Nairing, Charles Johnson, Ricky Bones, Roberto Kelly, and Mark Grudzelani. 
Another thing I like about these is the uh, the colors really pop on these. I think there's a not too gaudy in their color, but I think they look nice. Yep, AJ. AJ did get the, the Yankees. I know some of you guys are are on on uh, in the Facebook group. Some of you guys are um, on Twitter. Some of you follow my blog. And I'm still trying to find that happy medium where I can get everybody a chance to, you know, grab their team. I, I you know, I thought about going away from the blog and just doing Facebook exclusively. And plenty of you guys said, told me how you felt about it. So with this round, I did post first on the blog um, before I went to the Facebook group. I don't, I don't plan on doing that every time. Like I said, I'm still trying to work out, trying to be as fair as I can for everybody. Uh, Cause I draw people from, from different venues. So, um, but um so let's uh, let's carry on. Got another boss, another Indian, Kenny Lofton. The good thing is these inserts aren't extreme, aren't terribly expensive on the secondary market, so you can. Fill in there if you end up getting one and you want more, you should be able to pick them up. Uh, Al Lighter. Yeah, his first name really hides on that card. Jeff Cerulio. Chuck Knobloch. Got a Pedro for the Expos. Matt Williams. Alex Fernandez and Andrew Jones. Nice. I don't remember Roberto Kelly with the Twins either. I remember his stint with the Braves. Of course, with the Reds. Got the prospect that a lot of us in the early 90s were chasing Todd Van Poppel. Brant Brown, Wade Boggs, Ron Blazer, Andy Ashby, Jim Abbott, Roberto Alomar, and Ellis Burks. I've tried looking for a box of Skybox um, or the, the Circa Thunder, um, but uh, they're a little bit more expensive. And I'm not willing to, at this point, go all in on a triple digit box of cards. But if I can find one for a decent price, uh, I'll probably pull the plug on that. Pull the trigger, I should say. All right, we got Ken Hill. For the Rangers, starting off our pack. Caminiti. Garrett Anderson. Brady Anderson. Joe Carter. Craig Biggio. Sandy Alomar Jr. and Brett Boone. I feel like we've seen that pack.
Oh, cool, Hal. That's, thanks for thanks for sharing that info. If you're into comics, there's a really cool comic shop there in Spartanburg called Tangled Web. I visited them once. Really cool store. All right, we got Todd Stottlemyre, Andy Ashby, Jim Abbott. Roberto Alomar, Eric Davis, Mark Grace, David Cohn, and Ricky Batalico. You can have that Tony Phillips card, but, uh, Dennis. And I did get your message. Um, I will, um, I'll, I'll get you back an email tonight, but I can, I can probably put that, um, Tony Phillips card in your, in your stack before, before I get in the mail to you. All right. Chris Singleton for the giants. Eddie Murray, Juan Guzman, Brian Hunter, Kenny Lofton, Steve Gibraltar, Brian McRae, Cecil Fielder. Do you say Cecil or do you say Cecil? Good evening, Chris. And no, I've not pulled a Larkin yet. Just, I know you're probably wondering. We're about halfway through the circuit box. A Big Mac. Dennis Martinez. Ah, oh, hey, just in time. Barry Larkin. And Josh says he pronounced it Cecil. I, I, that's that's what I figured. Most people call it. All right, we got Sandberg, Dwight Gooden, Pete Cavilia, Tony Gwynn, Darren Erstad. A nice little pack. Well, Chris, you're going to kick yourself when we pull the rave Barry Larkin. Just telling you right now. All right, Kevin Seitzer for the Brew Crew. We got a Jeter. Mickey Morandini. Ricky Henderson, Chuck Fenley, Messina, John Olaru, and Daryl Kyle. Well, that's cool, Josh. I've been... I try to get down to Atlanta um, once or twice each season to catch a game. Um, obviously, that's not going to happen this year, which really bums me out. Though, I, my wife and I had thought about getting a room at the Omni, one of the rooms with a balcony that overlooks Truist Field. I want to call it Sundress Park, but um, and watching a game in person that way. But... Um, God, the rooms there are super expensive. It's a Frank Thomas checklist. 
but I've had a couple of home run balls come close to where we sit in the outfield, but never, never caught a foul ball, not even at minor league games. Troy Percival, Randy Myers, Ed Sprague, Shane Reynolds, Jose Mesa, Reggie Sanders, and Sammy Sosa. Man, I have the Braves game on, playing the Phillies tonight. Hadn't really been paying attention to it. They're up 11 to 1. Vinny Castilla, Ramon Martinez, Charles Nagy, John Smiley, Ray Langford, Tina Martinez, Ricky Otero, and Wally Joyner. Well, that's cool. I've always wondered, especially on cards you know, where there's a close-up of the player, you know, to the to the seats. I wondered if some, you know, sometimes if those people ever realize that they're on a piece of cardboard, if they're on a trading card. E. Y. Eric Young. Norm Charlton, John Franco, Roger Clemens, Greg Colbrun, Travis Fryman, Ron Coomer, and Moises Alou. Kristen Pache was called up. He's making his major league debut tonight and looks like he just got his first hit. So hopefully that means he'll have a top smile card tomorrow. Steve Traxel. Eric Davis. Mark Grace. David Cohn, Ricky Batalico, Ken Caminiti, Garrett Anderson, and Brady Anderson. We got one, two, three, four, five packs. Should have another access. And probably two bosses if if we're going by the odds. John Smoltz, Geronimo Barrera, Greg Maddox, Dan Wilson. Ah, there's my guy, Ray. Kevin Apier, Apier, Jason Kendall, and Kevin Elster. I'll tell you guys now, um, I did a little Twitter giveaway um, for some, um, with a with a baseball book, an, autobi an autobiography, and I've got some more giveaways that I'm planning on doing. 
I'd like to incorporate something into the video, um, but uh, I haven't quite figured out how best to do that. But if you are on Twitter, give me a give me a follow. Um, if you're not already following me, it's at Flywheels um, because probably next week I'm going to do a I uh, I'll do another giveaway. Um, and I picked up a couple of new autobiographies. So this time I'll give the winner a, a pick um, of the uh, the books that I have. So if you're a reader and you enjoy that, um, it's, it's going to be a simple just follow me kind of deal. Um, and then I'll, you know, like the post and I'll, I'll pick a winner <clears throat> and I'll send you a book. So um, if that's if that's up your alley, let me know and uh, be on the lookout. All right, so we got another boss, Dave Nielsen for the Brewers. So that makes three that we got. Paul Wilson, Johnny Damon, Jeff King, Juan Gonzalez, Alan Benes, Andres Galarraga, and a Griffey checklist. Hey, good evening, AJ. Glad you could drop by. Oh, okay. I just saw something. One of you guys in the chat is going to be very happy. And I don't like to pull the cards away from the camera, but I need to just, I don't want you to see it yet. So I'm going to pull it off so I can flip it around, put it at the back. So, all right. Hey, it's a good pack already because we're starting off with a, with a, with a Ripken. Got a Charlie Hayes, Raul Mundesi, Manny Ramirez, Mark McLemore, John Mabry, Paul O'Neill. All right, all ready? Oh. I see a KC on the hat. Jeff Montgomery rave. You can see the, the glitter foil replacing this normal silver foil. Numbered 51 of 150. Congrats, Josh. I best remember, I think it, I think it was Montgomery. Was it like 94 Fleer Ultra? They had the fireman in, um, insert and you, you had the, the pitcher standing in front of a fire truck. What was, I think, was Montgomery in that set? Nice. Put them down there. All right, so we've still got two packs left. And like I said, by the odds, we should get another boss and we should get a, an access. So, okay. Why I remember that, I have no earthly idea. <laughs> well, cool, man. I, I'm super glad we pulled a rave. I, you know, it's just one of them things you just never know if we're going to get. Alan Trammell. Rusty Greer. Royce Clayton. Larry Walker. Here's another checklist. Looks like looks like he's autographing a uh, Sports Illustrated. That's kind of cool. 
Jason Giambi. There's the crime dog McGriff. Brett Butler. Last pack. So yeah, three boss. 24 packs. Those are one in six. So okay. Looks like we got a boss in this pack. But we only got one access. That's kind of a bummer. Unless you're AJ. So we got a Chuck Knoblock boss. Base card hero picked up the twins, which I believe was his first time participating in a break. I'll have to make sure. He has all the info to make sure he uh, watches. Uh, Barry Bonds, Wilson Alvarez, Jermaine Dye, Jay Buhner, Carlos Baerga, Jose Canseco, and a Kevin Brown finish off. So let me get these stack of base out of the way. So... Pretty good box, I do say. So, if anybody, for whatever reason, wants one of these little surveys, let me know. I'll put it in your stack. I'm going to set them off to the side. I've got several of them. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, we've got we got several of these, so just let me know if you want one, and I'll I'll throw one in your stack. So, um, AJ, we did get um, a uh, our one access was of your evil team from up north, the Yankees. Got Paul O'Neill, cool card, and then we had four boss, two for the tribe. Kenny Lofton and Manny, Dave Nielsen for the Brew Crew. Oops, excuse me, didn't have it on camera. And Knobloch for the Twins that we just pulled. And then, of course, the Jeff Montgomery Rave. Uh, very cool. I like his quote. I'm not a power guy. I have to trick them. <laughs> so, very cool. Up next will be the 2003 Fleer Avant which my buddy Ben, some of you are in his breaks on Facebook. He, um, not that long ago, he had a, the uh, baseball version of Avant. And actually, I just had my stack shipped and it arrived. Well, I don't think it came today. I think it came yesterday while I was gone. But I had a couple of brave base cards from Avant. Uh, I didn't get anything huge. But uh, it, they're really nice cards. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're all excited about football because this might be the last football that I do for a while. Um, I've had a harder sale trying to, to get the football breaks to fill up. Actually, this this break didn't even fill. Um, I 
I do have something planned with football as we get close to the start of the NFL season. Um, so if you enjoy football, look forward, look, keep your eyes open for that. But uh, I think I'm going to just kind of go do baseball because you guys gobble that up. But like I said, I'm always up to ideas. All right. So um, the base set is small at 60 cards. Um, there are 30 rookies and they're all serially numbered one in, uh, but they're one in 699. Um, and then all of the, all of the other cards I think are the, the numbered pair of the, all the parallels are serially numbered. It says the overall odds are one in three packs. So we'll see. I know there are, there is a 90 card black and, uh, black and white set. Those are really sharp looking. Um, Work of Heart, Candid Collection, Draw Play. Um, and then there are also all of those sets have a memorabilia, a game used version. And uh, and then you've got the Avant card material. But everything says it's basically one in three packs. So we'll see. I've, I've not opened a pack or a box of any of anything Avant before. So I will do my best to pull you a farb mark and any, anything else you're looking for. Good luck to everybody. All right, so first card goes to Jason and his Chiefs. We got Priest Holmes. And you can see, uh, it's, well, I don't know. You've got like a uh, like a matte border. And then the, uh, the image in the middle, man, it really pops. There's your card back. Kurt Warner for the Rams. And here we go. Here's our black and white. I think these black and white cards look sharp. Clinton Portis for the Broncos. Numbered 132 of 199. Yeah, I don't I don't understand why this is, was a one and done set. I uh, there were some things that Fleer did that that had multiple sets that I don't fully understand. I mean, it sells, but Lavernius Coles for the Deadskins. I did notice while I was putting together the list, the uh, the the sign up post uh, trade card database has already dropped the Redskins name for every product. And now it just, if you look, it just says Washington. <laughs> I thought that was, they, they moved pretty quick on that. All right. Next up, we got Curtis Martin for the jets. Sean Alexander for the Seahawks. Ray Lewis ran uh, Ravens and a, Plaxico Burris for the Steelers. Tech list. Marshall Falk for the Rams. Drew Bledsoe for the Bills. David Carr for the Texans. And Charlie Garner for the Raiders.
Jake the Snake Plumber for the Broncos. Derek Brooks for the Bucks. Oh. Got a green parallel. Tyler Jacobs for the Redskins. 623 of 699. Congratulations, you have received an exclusive Avant NFL high quality Fleer trading card. And the late Steve McNair for the Titans. Yeah, that you're probably right. Um, that pro that probably that is uh, seventy five. Yeah, that's our. Yeah, we got a checklist right here. Rookies are number sixty one to ninety. So yeah, that is a uh, that is a rookie. Yeah, there were some decent rookies. Dallas Clark. Anquan Bolden, Jason Witten, Carson Palmer, Andre Johnson, Byron Lefwich. Got another Steeler, Hines Ward. Brian Erlocker for the Bears. Favre, Clinton Portis, Jeff Garcia. Jerry Rice for the Raiders. Boom. Jason Witten. Five sixty three is six ninety nine. And another Packers, Amon Green. So, off to a pretty good start. Two short printed rookies. A random Moss. William Green. Another rookie, Andre Johnson for the Texans. Hey, that's uh, that's that's you, Johnny. Numbered one thirty nine of six ninety nine, and Hal, you round out the pack with a Tony Gonzalez. We will do more football. Uh, next week is going to be uh, all baseball. Stick around to the end, and I'll show you what we're going to do next week. After that, I may take a week off just to kind of recuperate. Um, my own collecting has kind of fallen behind between doing these and, and work. So I may take a week off. Um, but I when I do my next, you know, when I do my next order, I, I will probably get another box of football. Um, 
because I do enjoy football as well. But uh, next week's just going to be baseball. Uh, Aaron Brooks for the Saints. Jeremy Shockey. And nice. Priest Holmes, black and white. 126 of 199. So, Jason. You... Your $2 have done you well. And Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson. Michael Vick. Peerless Price. Two Falcons in a row. No one grabbed the Falcons this time around. All right, we got a work of heart insert. Brett Favre. The, the image of Brett is glossy, whereas the rest of the card has a has a normal matte feel. And these are numbered to 299. This is 150 of 299. So this card will be making its way to Alaska at some point. And the last pack, card in that pack was Rich Gannon for the Raiders. You're not cheap, Jason. You're frugal. Nothing wrong with that. Antonio Bryant for the Cowboys. Eddie George. That's the one we were looking for last week in that really cool uh, litho cell. Looking for the Eddie George rookie. All right, we got Fred Taylor, black and white. Numbered 156 of 199. And last card was Dante Culpepper. All right, we got a thicky here. We got us a thick card, so we'll see what we got. Uh, got some scrub named Brady starting off the pack. Drew Brees for the Chargers. <laughs> and Jeremy Shockey. Game worn patch. And you can see we've got some stitching there. So at least it's not just a plain white piece. Got a little bit of stitching there. And dang, 21 of 25. that come across so yeah not not bad a a early relic low numbered a polarizing player like shockey who got the giants nobody got the giants what oh come on <laughs> Dennis, my man, you should have got the Giants. Somebody. Well, normally I'd say, guys, I'd random that off, but I uh, I lost money on this box. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> well, I lost money, so I'm going to hold on to that one. See if I can't trade it for something. Corey Dillon for the Bengals. 
Joey Harrington for the Lions. I remember him. Wasn't he an Oregon alumni? Patrick Ramsey for the Redskins. And Marvin Harrison for the Colts. Eric Moulds. Moulds. I'm not, I never did know how to pronounce his name. For the Bills. Toy Holt for the Rams. I'll be honest, I did grab the Rams because he's my, one of my NC State guys. Keyshawn Johnson for the Bucks. I don't remember him playing for the Bucks. And no, oh, he's a nice looking card. Draw play. Priest Holmes. This is a Priest Holmes hot box. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a nice little selection here. Yeah, I can throw that uh, peerless price in your stack, Hal. I don't, I don't mind. Antoine Randall L for the Steelers. Donovan McNabb. Is it Musa Smith for the Ravens? It's a rookie. Thirty nine or one ninety nine. So there we go. I got a parallel of a short printed rookie. But nobody grabbed the Ravens. And we've got uh, Ricky Williams was the last card. Yeah, the with the checklist being so small, I, I understand people, you know, not wanting to, you know, take a gamble because the the, the uh, odds are are long for some of these teams. But Tiki Barber, Fred Taylor, and another rookie, Dwayne Robertson for the Jets. 179 of 699. Ben Martin had the Jets, so I'll go to him. And yeah, this looks this is an odd looking for you know, look, Emmett Smith in a Cardinals uniform. LT. Oh, nice. Okay, it's it's Harrington, but it's one of the uh, memorabilia versions of the of the work of uh, work of heart inserts. Two eighty nine of three hundred. It does say that it's game worn instead of just a player used or photo shoot or well, that garbage. So, Paul, you're getting a little lion's love tonight. Yeah, yeah, we got the Emmett uh, for your Cardinals. So, there's the, the base versus the memorabilia version. Final card, Brad Johnson for the Bucks. Two packs left. <laughs> B 
Peyton Manning. Oh, whoa. Boom. Look at this, Brady. Tom Brady relic. Who got the Pats? Bam. Paul. Two in a row. All right, let's flip this over. Let's see what it's numbered to. 99 to 250. Hey, I, I admit I, I do not like Tom Brady. I, I've I I just I just I just don't. But I gotta admit, this is a cool card. That's a cool pull. Very cool. Does that need to be scanned? Let me know. I'm I'm trying to start doing that a little bit more. As I go to separate everybody's cards, I'm trying to um, scan some of these things into trading card database. I'm sure that Montgomery rave that we pulled, if that, you know, if that needs to be scanned, I uh, scan them in penny sleeves, but uh, I will, um, I'll do that. All right. Finally, my Panthers get on the board with a card, Stephen Davis. Spartanburg, South Carolina native. There's a former North Carolina State wideout, Corin Robinson. Had a couple of years in the league. Tony Hollings, rookie for the Texans. Ninety six of six ninety nine. And our last card was Travis Henry for the Bills. If you want a checklist, got three of them, let me know. I'll throw one in your box. So, yes, we pulled a lot more than I anticipated out of this box. So, there's our, there's our base. There's our base cards. And the black and white had four of those. Musa Smith, Fred Taylor, Priest Holmes, and a Clinton Portis, which I really think those black ones look sharp. All right. All right. I'll, I'll throw a checklist in yours there, Mark. Uh, the short printed rookies, Tony Hollings, Dwayne Robertson, Andre Johnson, Jason Witten, and Taylor Jacobs. So a couple of nice names there. And then we had the draw play Priest Holmes. Work of Heart, Farb, and the Work of Heart, Joey Harrington, memorabilia. And two relics, Jeremy Shockey and Tom Brady. And the Shockey is thicker. It's a thicker cardstock. I guess because it, I guess you would consider it a patch with the piece of thread there. And then you've got a nice Brady. Brady's number to 250. Shockey's number to 25. And they both say they are game used. So. Okay, Paul, y'all going to work out a deal for the Brady? That will be fine. Um, I'm actually getting ready to 
send ship out Dennis's stack. So I will, I will put that in there. I will put that in his stack. So one second, let me go to my shelf behind me. Let me grab next week. All right, real quick. If anybody's interested in a box, we, we did one of these um, several, like a month or two back, the 97 Pinnacle Express. Um, if anybody is interested in a box, I have two boxes left. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to feature them in another break. And I'm, I was thinking about maybe keeping one for myself. If anybody's interested in one of these, let me know. Um, shoot me a message, email, text, tweet whatever dm and um i'll let these go I'll, I'll let these go for a for a for a low price if if you're interested just let me know so next week we're gonna like i said we're gonna do baseball and uh i thought we would do something different um for a change and we're gonna do a minor league set uh we're gonna do the uh 91 classic best um and there is an off chance that we could pull and mike schmidt auto they are um packed in it's not a redemption or anything i know they probably printed a, a nice good bit of this product but um but i like i i think it could be fun um nice design too with the white border but, uh, and this will be easy. I had been looking at maybe doing a featuring a minor league. Um, but I wasn't really sure how to do it. Um, because there's so many darn minor league teams and they, you know, they, they change all the time, but the major league team that is affiliated with the, um, minor league team is printed on the back. Their logo is printed on the back of these cards. So it'll be really easy to, distinguish uh what what you know which player uh goes to what team so we're gonna do this i'll tell you now this is gonna be this is probably gonna be like a bucket team um i didn't pay a lot of for this box i'm not trying to you know to to rake you guys over the coals this will probably be a bucket team it might even be as cheap as some teams might even be as cheap as 50 cents um this is just again this is just kind of an experiment for me um you know, if we sell it out and, and people want more minor league, I, I can get more minor league stuff. But I, I, uh, I live, I grew up in Charlotte. We have the Charlotte Knights. They started off as a double A affiliate of the Cubs. So I got to see Tome and um, Sammy, I mean, uh, Manny Ramirez come through and play. Sammy Sosa and Juan Gonzalez played for the Gastonia Rangers at the time. So I, I got to see them play. Um, later on, the team went over. We got upgraded to AAA, and uh, they are still with the Charlotte Knights. Um, or the Charlotte Knights are with the um, Chicago White Sox. So um, I've got to see some really good players come through there. And the team used to be their stadium used to be right up the road from me. I live down in South Carolina now, and it used to be like five minutes up the highway for me. Since they moved into Uptown Charlotte, I don't get up there very often. But um, but I like minor league baseball. I hate what it you know what's happened to it this year. So this is my way of supporting it. So let me know if this goes over well, and and you know if not. Hey, that's okay, but it's going to be super cheap, but something different. And then we've got, this is the first box that I've featured again um, in a while. Um, this is 1995 Leaf Limited. Um, it's in this plastic wrap because the shrink wrap here on the top was ripped um, in I think in storage 
the vendor that I got it from, um, it, it was up front and told me that the 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 uh, shrink wrap was ripped. But you can I can see the I can see the shrink wrap all around the box. So I don't it it's, hasn't been resealed. I don't think it's been tampered with. But he gave me a little bit of a discount on this, and then they threw it in this plastic bag. But I get a kick out of these. 450,000 boxes and this one serial number to 22,904. Um, but I, I did this a long time ago and, uh, and for me, the chase is the, the lumber, the, uh, the lumber jacks with the wood grain insert. This is series two, by the way. But, um, but yeah, um, that, so we're going to do this one. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, and there's a chance how I, I may not take the Braves. Um, I'll have to check my list because I've opened this before. I may be good on the Braves. Um, and if I am, I will give somebody else a chance to take the Braves for a change. I know, uh, somebody else had asked me about that too. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do minor league. We're going to do major league, kind of a high end set. Um, and then after that, we'll just see, we'll see what goes on, but thanks for watching guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, keep an eye on my Twitter thread if you're on Twitter. Um, and especially if you like baseball autobiographies, I do have some things like that that I plan to do next week that are just to give back to the collecting community. Nothing, you know, um, Oh, okay. I hear you. How? Yeah. I'm taking the Braves in the, uh, the minor league set, <laughs> but if I get any doubles, I'll let you know, but yeah. Um, but, but like I said, thanks again. Um, thanks again for supporting me. This is just something I do for fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys have fun. Uh, um, like I said, I'm shipping out early tomorrow morning to take my family up to the mountains for the weekend. Um, so I'll be slow to respond or post anything, but uh, I will, uh, I'll, I'll be back in the saddle. Um, I'm not planning on leaving next week. I don't think I have to travel for at least for a week. So if anybody needs their stuff shipped or whatever, let me know. And I will get those packed up and get you an invoice. But uh, until then, thanks again. Y'all have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk at uh, in the next video. Peace out, guys.